We need to actually think about fragrances differently. So whether people are less likely to scent their bodies, they are engaging with scent in some kind of a way, uh, whether it's for their homes, their clothes, with candles, diffusers, um, linen sprays, these different things. So we need to think about, um, to, in order to help fragrance get a boost, to really think about innovation and introducing new formats for consumers. Because from sentiments, we know that 50 to 70% said that they will purchase a home-scented product if it smells like a fine fragrance that they currently use. So just think about engaging with fragrances um, in non-traditional ways. So non-traditional from the fine fragrance as we have trained ourselves to think about it within the industry. What are some of the things that retailers and uh, manufacturers can do to attract more men and women into fragrance? Well, they really need to think about the way that they're interacting with them. Interesting, we found that um, both sexes tend to use home scented products like candles. That's like their number one product of usage. But we noticed that the products that they are increasing usage, it actually differs. For men, more men seem to be using scented drawer liners and clothing sachets. Uh, so that sparked the thought that maybe we can start introducing these new formats for men in the scent of their different colognes that they currently use in order to help um, promote that new trend that we're seeing amongst men. And for women, we noticed that they were using more wax melts and diffusers. So even having these kinds of products um, available uh, would definitely encourage the usage. And we know that the reason why men and women are using these products, it's to scent their home to make the area feel more inviting. So if we're using that messaging within these products, um, it definitely intersects with that need and speaks to that to the consumer. Online and brick and mortar are definitely important. Um, we have seen brick and mortar sales were actually flat for year to date November. And um, a lot of the growth for fragrances is coming from the online sector. And we noticed that within the online sector, that when you look at the top 30 fragrances, about when you look at four or five of them, they are anywhere from three to four years old, or young, I should say. So really the online sector is more about replenishment.